Welcome to today's devotion at CompleteChristian.org. Today is Wednesday, July 20th, 2022. The word of the day today is triumph. To triumph means to win in an excitingly incredible way, mastering the art of perfection within the boundary of your endeavor. The scripture reading for today comes from Proverbs 23, verse 25, which says, Let your father and your mother be glad, and let her who bore you rejoice. The encouragement for today. A great parent works hard to secure a future for his or her children's future. They are concerned about the quality of life they provide for the children they've birthed, they take care of correct, set straight, show compassion, teach, lead, and ultimately help them become everything they are meant to be. Sometimes that doesn't always work. And that can seem to the parent that they've done something wrong, but that's not always the case. Looking at almost every significant figure in the Bible, we see what appear to be flaws and character issues within them, but that couldn't be further from the truth. What seems to be a flaw really isn't a flaw at all. It's just foreign to us. And in our own understanding, we cannot comprehend the complete reasoning leaving us confused. Well, confusion doesn't come from the Lord and His ways are not ours. So any parent reading this or listening to this, be comforted knowing that you did everything you could do to help your tribe and trust that God is going to lead them to a triumphant victory over anything they may be facing today. Some things aren't for us to understand, but as long as we're alive, God's not done with us. And so we offer up prayer in Jesus' name to everyone needing comfort and guidance today. He is with them, you, and everyone who calls on His name. And that's all that matters. Surround yourself with believers and you will surround yourself with the love of the Father. Lord, we thank you for sending us your Son, God. We thank you for sending Jesus to us. There might be some parents listening to this who have lost their child, Lord God, and they might ask you why. Your ways are are not our ways, Lord God, and your thoughts are not our thoughts. Allow us to have comfort and allow them to be comforted in knowing that their child is with you, Lord God, in heaven, where there's no worry, no fear, no anxiety, no stresses of this world, Lord God. They are set free. They're not gone. There's just a temporary separation. And until we transition to be with you, Father, where we see them again, help us to to live for right now, to live for you, so that your name might be glorified, Lord God, so that we might see our loved ones again. Please just be with this world, be with our country, Lord God. Be with anybody who's homeless right now, that they might get a roof over their head. Anybody who's hungry, that they might get nutritional assistance, Lord God. Be with the families, the friends, the friends of families, the aunts, the uncles, the cousins, the sisters, the brothers, the nephews, the nieces, the grandmas, the grandpas, the everybody, the family orientated people who aren't family orientated Lord God allow them to find a family in the church allow them to find a family in you allow them to find a family of believers that they can trust Lord God you're the only one that matters in this world not a single other human matters Lord God but you do and if we put our trust in you you will surround us with the people who can benefit us, who can help us to grow, who can help us to to understand our purpose, to understand why we're here. Help us to walk in that purpose today. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for listening to our podcast. If you're enjoying these devotions, please show your support by going to completechristian.org and clicking on the donate link. Be sure to share us in your feet and stay tuned for our latest updates. Remain in prayer with us and have an awesome day.